Hey everybody, this is Peter with Plumbing Express. Just wanted to go through another new product unboxing with you guys. So what we have here is a Flow Logic system. I think they nicely put it right there on the side of the box. So Flow Logic system. Uh, this is a water monitoring system. So we have a couple other systems that we work with, but this is a new system for us. They've been around for quite some time. Uh, they have a lot of uh, neat things that go along with this. But uh, first off, we're just going to be going ahead and unboxing. So you can look at it with me as we take it out of the box. Starting with, it's always great to see right off the bat, a nice set of instructions in here. And it looks like we've got a nice uh, layout for telling us how to put it together. <clears throat> and obviously yellow usually tells us that this is kind of a quick set of instructions for us. Well, we're going to take that and put it on the side. So they do a pretty nice job of boxing everything up here for us. So it's all pretty well protected. So you can see we actually have the device right here. Ooh, and that is pretty heavy. So I'm telling you that, that is beefy. <clears throat> Taking a look at it here, you can see that what we've got is we've got one inch ports going into this. You can see it even shows factory sealed. So this is where we're connecting into here. We can take a look and see down inside there somewhat. You can turn around here and see down inside this. So this is our uh, the actual uh, shutoff here. So this is the solenoid. So this is actually our detector assembly on this side right here. So this is what's going to be detecting any flow. And this is the actual shutoff over here. You can see it's got the solenoid with the ball valve housed on it all built right up top there. We've got several different connection points on there. We've got a communication cable down here. Let's go ahead and put this back in there. This is a nice battery backup that they have that comes right with it, which is really nice that they provide that to you. A lot of other companies that is an extra that you have to add on. This model actually still comes with a controller, which is nice. Um, a lot of the current models that are out there, they save a little money for you by not having a controller mounted on the wall. And what they do is you actually use an app on your phone for everything. Now, FlowLogic does actually have a, a smart system that will be able to integrate with this. Unfortunately, uh, as of right now in 2022, early in the year, currently they are behind production on that. You know, it's one of those situations, uh, microchips are scarce. And as a result, what they're finding is they don't have enough ability to produce these, so all of them are on back order. But the nice thing is, is this system fully integrates with this after the fact. Uh, so that means we can install this for the customer, get everything up and working, be able to use the controller. The only thing she's not going to have is the Wi-Fi integration. And let's see what's in this last box here. So in here, it looks like we've got... Uh, the power pack, so both for plugging into the wall and then also too that's going to plug into the actual unit. And then of course these little connectors right here are the ones that go to the 12 volt battery over here and that's going to give us our battery backup. So a pretty straightforward system. There's not a whole lot of uh, components to this other than where we're going to be actually mounting this. Let's get that put back together for ourselves. So the big boy is everything right here, and that is big. I'm not kidding you when I tell you that probably weighs darn near 10 pounds. Uh, actually, probably more than that, maybe closer to 15. It's a lot of weight, but it just goes in to show you what you're getting, okay? Also here, nice to see, they actually give you that nice indicator on there. Let you know that this is in the open position, and if this is turned sideways, that's letting you know that it's in the closed position. It also comes right through here and tells you to manually open or close valve, remove clear cap, and push down and quarter turn to uh, turn the shaft. So we're going to pop this piece off of here and actually get in there, push down, and rotate this 90 degrees. And we'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you. Here's one of the great things we like seeing as well. Right, it's made in the USA. Uh, this actually came out of North Carolina, uh, right there. Actually, you guys can see. So. Morrisville, North Carolina is where it came from. So now that we've ever taken everything kind of out of the box, I've kind of walked you through everything. Let's go through the actual paperwork part of it as well. Because believe it or not, I know that they like to make fun of the fact that guys don't read any directions, but the truth is 
as all of us should know. You know, manufacturers take a lot of time and effort to put together good instructions, and we need to actually be taking them out, taking a look at them, and reading them. It also looks like we have a tool in here as well. So it'll be interesting to find out during the course of installation, maybe reading the directions, what exactly this is going to go to. Uh, it does have a hex head in there, so I would imagine, since it's got this nice long handle on there, it's giving you something to maybe be able to, to turn with this. This might actually come into play whenever we were looking at that top piece where it talked about topping, popping off that plastic piece and pushing it in. This may be the part you actually are able to push that in and then turn it and rotate it a quarter turn. Some screws, uh, looks like two screws with a couple of small little uh, anchor kit. Obviously these are not going to hold up that 15 pound valve, so more than likely what we're going to be using these for is for mounting the controller. And as I brought up before, so we have a lovely yellow sheet. Yellow is going to draw your eyes to it. Either that or red a lot of times is kind of like the speed instructions. So it just gives you a quick run through on here. Uh, an important thing that we did notice about this is it is talking about making sure that you install this. And this is almost like every one of the uh, water, uh, you know, water management system, water management detectors. Uh, you know, a lot of times they're called leak detectors. But, you know, the truth is, is, you know, what they're really doing is they're really measuring and uh, checking your water, checking flow, uh, looking to see if you do have a leak. But they're also just looking for regular usage as well. Some of the manufacturers, their apps are almost like somewhat of a game. It's going to let you know how you did last month, how you're doing this month, and just to see if they can help you save a little bit of water. But uh, again, like I was saying on this, just like most of the other ones we said, it recommends that you're going to be installing it downstream of any pool fills, irrigation lines, and water softeners, because anytime you have those devices, they can create a lot of intermittent flow that can be fairly rapid, and that can set these into somewhat of an issue uh, them thinking that there's a problem, so maybe uh, some type of leak. We also have our nice long form and set of instructions as well. We've gotten a chance to go through and take a look at this. It also kind of walks you through doing your full setup and stuff like that. Again, these are kind of your speed instructions. These take you a little deeper into it. I also like that they do give you this nice uh, look here, so that way you're able to just kind of walk through and see a generality of what it looks like. And this I really think is a great one because it's a the local control panel directions for use. So a great thing you'll be able to put either you know, directly with the homeowner or you can actually maybe even just mount it someplace over near where the control panel is going to go. So that way it gives them easy access. It kind of walks them through. Uh, even lets you have a little test log inside there so you're actually able to put some dates and times on there. And when you did some different things with this to make sure everything's working correctly. Uh, just, you know, really a nice setup overall. A lot of manufacturers these days what they give you is pretty much a box <clears throat> with uh, all the material in there. And then a lot of times what they'll end up giving you is, uh, you know, pretty much a QR code. And you got to scan the QR code and it's going to give you all the instructions. Now, there is a great benefit to that by having it set up on a QR code. They can constantly update, the, update those instructions, put any kind of updates in there that they want to be able to keep up with currently what they're finding is any issues or updates that they need to do with the system. So that is a great uh, feature they have, but one of the nice things that Logic has done here is they actually have got a really nice set of instructions, both quick and long form. They've got a nice uh, booklet here for the homeowner to be able to go through that talks about the, the control panel that we had in the box over here. But then they also do have the QR code up there. So, and that's actually, it even says right on there for an installation video. So that's great. We actually are going to be taking this out and putting this in soon, and we're going to do our own little installation video. Talk to you a little bit about how it compares to the Moen Flow that we've installed in the past, how it compares to the Fin Plus that we've installed in the past. And we're also, uh, you know, spend some, we're going to have our customers spend some time with it, and we'll do an update video for you as well. Where we get to get some feedback from her later on. But we're going to get this installed, and then we're going to do that update video later on. So probably let her have it in the house for maybe between four and six months, and then we'll get back to her, find out a little bit more information from her and what she has to say about it. So hope you guys got the chance to see quite a bit about what uh, comes with the FlowLogic system. It's not an inexpensive system, but really overall, from what I've seen, they, it looks like they're really bringing it already by making certain that they have a lot of great instructions for you. The battery backup comes as, start of, as part of the standard package. And boy, there is no denying, ooh, this right here, I mean, I could use this as like doing some curls and stuff like that. This thing is heavy. So uh, because of that, you know, you know that you, they've got some actual high quality parts in here. You got a nice big brain on attached to this thing, as well as the actual drive motor for swinging that ball valve. So it's impressive so far. They've got that. Uh, and yes, as I take a look at this, I can actually see on here that this definitely looks like this is going to be where that goes. So 
Doesn't look like it's going to be, I don't want to pop that off necessarily right off the bat, but I can see it looks like it matches up with the hex key that's here. So that way we'd be able to pop this in there, push down on it, and then rotate that. And it gives you a nice long handle, so it gives you lots of leverage on there. So that's great. So again, that kind of covers us for the unboxing. We will pop back in another video. So check us out on the next video where we actually get the chance to install this thing. Uh, kind of walk through and see how it works. Run it through its paces, opening and closing with the controller. Uh, and we'll let you guys know what we think. So thank you very much. Again, this is Peter Plum Express. We'll catch you on the next video and we'll see you then.